today's video is going to be around supplier payments. Basically, there's two types of payments here we're going to look at is your supplier prepayments and your supplier payments. Below them are their relative lists. So if you go ahead and click on either one of the lists, it'll take you back to previous payments we did for our suppliers. You can search at these payments. Um, you can ignore dates and search for these payments. You can select date ranges to search from if you choose so. As a, and as well as that, you can simply drill down into that um, into what makes up that payment. So we can see what was applied, by who was it done, and when was it entered for what amount. Jump back out of there. So the first step is we're going to look at doing a supply payment. We click on supply payment, and that'll open up a supplier sorry prepayment card so when we're doing a prepayment we'll simply select the supplier we wish to prepay and this is pretty much um, paying or giving a deposit for goods that haven't been received yet so that is the reason why you would do a prepayment I'm gonna go ahead and add coke as our supplier prepayment of a thousand bucks and it's vital to add notes for these prepayments so the reason why um, there was a prepayment by who was it done by and when was it entered at so deposit for, for next order so the reason why the prepayment was done that's very vital um, again the payment method um, we usually add um, EFT so you would add to EFT um, but for this lesson, we're not going to use that. Um, there is a video on EFT, so if you'd like to know more about EFT, please go ahead and watch that video now. But for now, we're going to look at um, just making it as a check, and we're going to leave it off EFT. Give it a reference number. What department um, is it coming from? And once you've got your notes in oh, and, the, uh, and the bank account, uh, so whether it's accounts receivable, and yes we want it in there and we're gonna go ahead and hit save so now if we jump back in if we jump into our supply prepayment list hit refresh there is our supplier prepayment and uh, we can see what's active what's been deleted or all of them again double click and it takes you back to what makes that up jump back out of there so the second step we're going to look at now is the supplier payment um, simply we can go into a, a payment list and look at some prepayments that we have available so or what we've done so here's a prepayment or supply payment that we've done did one of these earlier so multiple payments can be done at the same time and it can take you back to what's made that up so if we look at doing our own payment quickly add a supplier and we can also do these in foreign. So if the company um, has, a, has a foreign currency, so whatever you label this as, it can be dollars or uh, South African rands or Australian dollars. Make sure before you apply any of these any of these payments, so you would click apply to apply these. Before you apply any of them, make sure your exchange rate is up to date before you apply. That way the variation amount um, will be as accurate as possible so get the exchange rate correct for that currency over here shown over here make sure the very uh, variation amount is correct and where that will post to when viewing that um, so you can do that in foreign um, if we look at another company here we'll look at coke again we can see a prepayment has been done for this supplier um, so wherever there's been payments done simply apply by clicking them um, you can add um, different amounts so if you if the if the uh, uh, amount is 450 you can simply change that as you go along it's up to you uh, double click and it will take you back to the original that makes that up so here's the purchase order that we looked at in coke for 450 but applying these payments are as simple as just clicking on the payments. Um, again, add to EFT. Um, for now, we're just going to use um, check, give it a reference. Um, and here is that payment amount we're looking at. 
simply hit save, drop back into the list, and there we are. So real easy way of doing supply payments, getting around and utilizing them. If we go back a step and we look at how we're going to populate these supplier prepayments, or sorry, supplier payments, we simply just jump into purchases, do a basic purchase order for the supplier. So we'll do uh, Coke again, add in a product, and we're going to add some beer. So now for now, say 50, and we've received 50. And here again, if the currency is different, um, simply um, that'll add the list of currencies that you have available that you've added within your database. Um, so just make sure the currency code is correct. We're going to leave it as this currency right now, leave it at that amount. Now the big thing for this to populate is it's got to have a supply invoice number. So whatever that invoice number is, give that supply invoice number in there and add a date for that, the invoice date. Once that's done, go ahead and hit save. If we now go back into our payments and we go into supplier payments and we go look at that purchase order we just did, here it is there. Double click and it'll then populate the information from that purchase order we just did now. So there's that beer, 50 ordered, 50 received and so on. Out. If we look at the last little couple things within our supplier payments, when adding a supplier payment, you can add a new supplier from within here. So if you're doing a supplier payment and it's to a new supplier, you can create them straight from the supplier payment if you choose so. As well as that, you can search from a list. We'll look at Coke again. Here we are. And we can apply these prepayments as well as the payment amounts. So that'll show in under the supplied here what has been applied. So if we leave it blank, uh, blank we'll leave it at zero. If we apply this payment and apl apply the prepayment, that'll take the number and payment amount into a negative. So um, you can add payment amounts if you choose so. You don't have to add the whole amount. Again, simply just add what you want, um, the amount that you want, hit save. So if we add a, make a check again, hit save, and there we are. Going to the supply payment list, going to Coke, take you back to what makes that up. If we now go look lastly into our supply payment again, look under coke there is the outstanding amount left on that prepayment amount so it originally was a thousand we used 285 and that is the remainder so we know that um, that amount is still outstanding so that's a great way of tracking um, your supply payments using some prepayments um, for your suppliers and updating automatically. So there you are, that is your supply payments. Thanks for watching.